Hello everyone, this is Coding Is For You. So I recently had a problem, I'm gonna get right to the point. I recently had a problem, I was trying to put a form on my website using WordPress. The reason I use WordPress is because it's very fast and easy to throw things on onto a website. So I am a programmer, I'm a developer, it's the first time I've ever used WordPress. But anyway, this is my website, I've launched it, it's not completely done, I'm still working on it, but if you wanna go here and see my work, I've got my videos and things like this, but it's codingisforyou.com. Okay. So uh, I wanted to have a form. I'm building a resu resume re review service. I'm going to review IT resumes. I'm going to see if they're good and all. That will be explained later. But the point of this video is because I wanted to have a form, an online form that a person could fill out, maybe even upload a file and send to me. Okay. And so I went out and I installed the Ninja forms and that didn't work. They just didn't because there were no settings for you to do, uh, to do your uh, email and all that stuff. Okay, so what I wanted is a form just like this, where you fill out your name. Let's just do it. All right, and then you hit send, and it actually will send an email. Now, doing this in the ASP.NET code is not that hard and all, but this is WordPress. And since I've used WordPress, I'm kind of stuck with their tools, at least for now. So anyway, this is the form that we're going to be building, and I'm going to work you through the problems that I had because I could not send an email. I had to even contact my ISP. And there it is. The message has been sent. And there's the message. Uh, coding is for you, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so there's the form, uh, codingisforyou.com. If you come up here and click Resume Review Service, I will, IT Reviews, I'll review it, rewrite it, I'll help you, help you with all that stuff. Anyway, let's, let me show you how I did that. So if we look at what I'm using right now, I've got this Easy WP SMTP, and I've got Contact Form 7. These two things will work together. These two plugins will work together to get your site up and running. So first of all, install EZWP SMTP and then contact Form 7 and we will work through that right now. All right, now I've already done it for this website. So I have another website called hamradiocq.com and it's all about my ham radio channel and everything. I've got, this is the, the reason I don't make a lot of coding videos is because I make, I make them for this channel. I've been working a lot on this channel. Anyway, I need a contact form on here and I'm gonna add it and show you how to do that. So first of all, I'm going to search for easy WP SMTP. So I have a lot of trouble sometimes trying to install these add-ons because it says you can't write the writable, the folder is not writable or something. So I found a way around that and the way to do that is to go to their website and download the package and just upload it manually. Let's do that right now. So the way to find that is you have to go to their website, uh, wordpress.org, plugins, easy WP SMTP. We're going to download that file. And this is a way to bypass that read-only stuff. So I've downloaded it. I'm just going to go up here to my website, which was hamradiocq.com. And I'm going to go here and go upload plugin, choose file, install. And this will bypass that problem. Activate. Okay, now we're going to go and install. Now that we've got easy WP SMTP, we're going to go and install contact form 7, which I've proved works. I'm going to install contact form 7. Same thing, same problem. I'm going to Google it. WordPress plugin, I'm going to go to download. This happens a lot, and it has to do with my settings on my ISP, but I don't really care. I found a way to get around it. Downloads, contact form 7, install now, activate. Okay, so we're activated. We've got contact form 7 and easy WP SMTP installed. Now we need to configure SMTP settings in the settings menu. So these things are kind of working together. Now this is probably the hardest part is setting this part up. And then we're going to go to a test email and here you can test it without having to fill out a form or anything but your web host and figure out what your settings are. And when they, when my web host, uh, Smarter ASP, by the way, there's a link in the bottom for your web host. If you want to use Smarter ASP, I get a little bit of commission for that. Um, they sent me this link, and it's up here in the URL. I'll send it to you. It'll, it'll be below also. 
you got to put in your your domain up here mail dot in my case it would be mail dot hamradiocq.com port 25 sometimes it's a different port like 110 try try a couple different things I had to try a bunch of different things um, your username and password for your email or your your web host stuff okay and the sender and these these two need to be the same uh, this is probably the hardest part. This is the part I can't really help you with. You're going to have to, I had to do, I spent about 15 minutes trying, trying different things and going back and forth between this and then the test email. Okay, so I was able to get it to work from my site. So I put my email address at hamradiocq.com, my name, then mail.hamradiocq.com, and then types of encryption none, 25, yes and then my email and password again for my web host site so if you have an administrator uh, username and password that would go here alright then I went over here to test email blah at blah dot com test ASDF send email and it says test email was successfully sent no errors now for the real test alright we're gonna go to contact form 7 we're gonna create a form a little let's use so they've got let's go ahead and just delete the form that they have and start over delete apply all right I'm gonna go up here to add new all right here's the form in HTML form format so you've got your name email subject message and send I'm gonna leave it just like that so these are your settings for how things are gonna go to and from and how they're gonna look when an email comes to you as through the form messages um, these are all just additional settings that's not why we're here and I'm gonna save that you take you copy this piece right here contact form 7 and this is my first form I'm gonna save this I'm gonna copy this bit of code right here this is how easy it is so you're gonna go to pages and let's just do a new page. I'm going to add a new web page. Easy enough. I'm going to use a standard editor. And I'm going to paste that code in right there. My form. And I'm going to save it. I'm just going to go I'm going to go go ahead and publish it. Now I'm going to do a view page. Okay, so we're going to test this new form now. I'm going to put Bill Billy Boy your email my email at yahoo.com and then did it work yes it did now depending on your settings this email that they send from the web to you it you have to put the email address you want it to go to if you have it at your admin site and you don't use that you need to make sure it goes to the email that you want it to so I'm gonna hit send that was sent very quickly and let's see if we got it and there's the email. Did it work? Yes, it did. It even included all this stuff that was, you can do all the, in your settings, you can set the from and the to, the subjects and all that kind of stuff, the footers and the signatures and all that. Anyway, guys, uh, codingisforyou.com. That's my website for here. Uh, the resume service is right here, and it's not complete yet. I'm still working on that form. Uh, if you need your resume looked at, updated, uh, I don't know what I'm going to charge yet, but I'm going to charge a small fee for that. Um, I'm getting some people that are asking for that. And then hamradiocq.com, that's my main channel. That's a channel I love. If you want to know how I built some of this stuff, I can show you. I'll make more videos. Thanks, like, thumbs up, subscribe, all that stuff. Thank you for showing up.